Hello, my name is Douglas Block. I'm an author and depression counsel. Welcome to your Depression Recovery Channel, where each week we share details of coping strategies to heal from depression and anxiety. The title of today's uh, video is called Advice from Children for Healing from Depression. Recently, one of my members of uh, my group uh, fell into a relapse, a deep depression, and another member named Frank uh, happened to know a fifth grade teacher named Karen and asked Karen if she would uh, tell the children in her classroom about Christine's plight, see what they can do. Uh, much to Karen's surprise, what the children did is they wrote some letters, letters of comfort and advice to Christine, and they were so wise and so apropos of what it takes to heal from depression. I wanted to read some of them to you right now. So here's the first letter from a girl named Erin. I want to show it to you. Uh, you know, the colors and the pictures are so uplifting. There's, there's a flower, there's a star, there's a smiling sun. That alone is really cool. But listen to what this gal writes, even though she's only in the fifth grade. Christine, I know it's hard to do things every day, but you can try new things, like activities, to make you happy. If it's sunny outside, you could ride your bike in the park. Enjoy the fresh air. And you can go to the food stand and buy fresh fruit that is sweet and healthy and delicious. Sometimes at the afternoon, you should buy at the, at the store some flower seeds and plant them in a window box and watch them grow and then smell them when they bloom. And you can go see movies with your friends and have some fun every day. I'll help you feel better, Aaron. And now here's another letter from Amara. I know it's hard, Christine, for you to get every day to get up and try new things. Maybe if you want, you can call a friend and hang out and get some ice cream. That always works for me. That's cute. Ice cream, I guess, works for a lot of people. Maybe you can call your family and watch a movie and pick out a movie that will make you laugh. Maybe you would like to get some fresh air and walk outside and explore new things. Again, a very sweet letter talking about family, talking about connection, talking about pleasure. All the things we cover on this channel are mentioned by these children without even really knowing about the protocol for healing from depression. And yet they've got all this wisdom and all this really good advice in these really simple letters. And here's a letter from Sam. Here it is right here. Sam says, Dear Christine, even though you have to work, you can still hang out with your friends Maybe go get some coffee at your favorite coffee shop, or you could take the day off if you'd like. Plus, maybe you could go shopping if you please. I'd suggest Target. I'd suggest Target. That's very, very cute. Go shopping, have some coffee, hang out with friends. Here we have the social connection, again, the pleasure, the distraction. Uh, all the elements of these letters contain gems of advice, of treatment for healing from depression. And here they are coming out of the mouths of... Uh, 10, 11 year old children. So it was a beautiful thing and Christine really was touched by these letters and it actually started her on an uphill swing out of the abyss that she had fallen into. In addition to reading letters like these and getting advice from children, it's also good just to be around children because children are natural antidepressants. They possess a natural lightness, spontaneity, playfulness, fun, and joy that are so helpful to the depressed state because remember, depression is the absence of joy. So whether it's spending time with your children, your nieces, your nephews, your grandkids, uh, other children from other families, uh, or reading in a SMART program, doing volunteering with children, being around kids on some sort of regular basis should be part of your depression recovery uh, program. I remember reading a, a meeting on an 86-year-old man who was in the same swimming uh, club that I was in, and he taught children for a living, taught them how to swim, toddlers all the way up to the third or fourth graders. And I said, uh, what is the best thing about this job that you have? And he said, Doug, these kids keep me young. Being around children keeps me young. And it is more helpful to me than it even is to them. So he wasn't suffering from depression, but clearly they brought joy and a certain upliftment into his life. And that can be the same for you. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about my work, go to healingfromdepression.com or click on the links that come up at the closing credits. And until we meet again, I wish you the best in your mental health recovery. Thank you so much for watching.